what's up everybody i'm gonna make this one short and sweet i want to go over a few things uh but mainly we're going to be talking about the rear mount radiator it's probably the most common thing i get asked um they see i have no radiator in the front and they say are you an m1 no i'm not do i street drive it yes i do so i still have a radiator i'm going to flip this thing around and i'm going to give you a rundown of the coolant system is it the best thing in the world no is there better ways to do it yes does this way work for me Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to give you all a rundown on it so there's no more questions about it. I'm going to flip this thing around. So right here is a Griffin 3-inch uh, radiator. And the fan setup on it is underneath right there. But I'm going to start back here. I'll give you a rundown. So this is the outlet that goes to the water pump. It is a Dash 20. Um, and the reason it's that big is because I use a, can't really see there, I'm going to pick the truck up and show you, but I have a Mazir 55, um, it's either gallon per minute or gallon per hour, uh, I don't remember exactly which one, but it's their remote mount pump. So it's a Dash 20 inlet and dual Dash 12 outlets. So it comes out of the radiator here, goes down into the water pump, and then there's two Dash 12 lines that go out of the water pump and they come along the frame rail. They come along the frame rail right here with these two lines and to some um, uh, water pump adapter blocks. So like I said, these are two dash 12 and they go into the lower part of the uh, ports because that's going in the block first. And then the outlets are two dash 12 as well. And this is the part that y'all are mostly curious about. This is a Moroso billet thermostat block so I'm trying to show you a better angle here you can see it right there it has two dash 12 inlets and the back side of the block goes to a single dash 16 outlet it also has an MPT fitting in so that's how I hook my steam port up my steam port you see I use the uh, AN braided steam port setup I believe I got it from Summit and it feeds right into this block so it's really convenient and like I said it goes into a dash 16 line so I have a single dash 16 line that runs all the way down the frame of the truck all the way down the frame of the truck and it comes up under here remember I talked about monkey fab garage and Michael being able to build whatever you want well this is one of those things I said Mike I need an expansion tank for my coolant system he's like Okay, just tell me what you need, and I told him. So, <clears throat> it's a Dash 16 line all the way back here, and there's a T. And this tank right here is kind of like the overflow tank. It's the expansion tank, and it's teed into that line. So, this stays having some cooling in, and, and it gives it room for the system when it burps or anything like that. And on the other end of that T, it comes into the radiator right here. You see this line? It's low light I apologize I am gonna pick the truck up and I'll show you from underneath and it is a flex light fan on this thing so it, it's very basic um, I live in South Louisiana our temperatures are damn near as hot as the Sun it feels like most most summers are mid to high 90s put this thing on the street at a red light it won't budge over 175 now that billet block that I showed y'all up front this thing right here this block right here has washers you can put washers in it to slow the speed of the water down I do not have any in it I haven't experienced any issues yet um, could I maybe improve cooling by using one yes but I'm not gonna lie to you I haven't experimented with it I, I don't drive this thing on drag week I do race it and I drive it to local car shows and to dinner occasionally so all right guys I have the truck in there um, I'm going to go ahead and flip this around and I'm going to show you the water pump setup. This is from looking under the truck. So, what you can see here is my flex light fan. I kind of got some light, so bear with me here. That's the fan setup and it pulls the air um, down. It doesn't push it up, it, it pulls it down. So, it works good for me. I'm not saying that's right, I'm not saying it's best. I'm just saying what works for me. Everybody asks how I do it, this is how I do it. Um, <clears throat> had no issues with it so far um, on highway cruises doing 60 miles an hour the temperature will tend to creep a little bit 
Um, I've never had to get over uh, 220. Naturally, I wouldn't want that anyway. Um, so I don't have a bed cover or anything. If I had a bed cover, I think it would really help with that. But I don't have one yet. That is something I plan on doing in the future and, and to, to try and help with this. So like I was saying, there's the Dash 20 coming out of the radiator. So the pump is pulling water out right here. Follow it down. Yeah, let me get out of the way of the light here. This is the pump. Kind of hard to see. It's super compact. That's why I like it. There's the inlet, dash 20 inlet, and these are the two dash 12 outlets. As you can see, I have the lines. They they run along. They run along the frame. On this side, this is the T. It's kind of hard. Let me see if I can. There's some light here. So, this is the dash T fitting. That's the T part of that line goes up to that expansion tank, and the other side goes right up to the radiator. Uh, I mean, you guys that are that are worried about doing the rear mount setup, you can't be worried about it. You just kind of need to use the the common rules of thumb and and roll with it. You see this radiator used to be angled. When we redid the back half, we laid it flat um, because I wanted to do a bed cover. And whenever I did bed cover, I wanted it to be cut out around the radiator and just would make it easier if it was flat. At that point with a bed cover, I'll probably reverse the fan and to push air out instead of pull it down. Now I'm sure that'll help some too, but for around the track and the short cruise and I do, I have zero issues. And like I said, I have no washers in that billet thermostat housing. So I hope this makes a little bit more sense to y'all. Like I said, this is what works for me. A lot of people question this stuff. This is how I did it in my truck. If I were to do it all over again, would I change something? Yes, I would probably uh, put in an area where it's a little easier to get air to it. But other than that, I'm super happy. That Mazir water pump, a lot of people are scared of electric water pumps. That thing's been on there three years and has run flawless. I've never had an issue with it. So there's that. Y'all guys, remember, you know, like, subscribe, and share. Share this with your friends. Like I said, this is what's going to keep me going, um, doing this stuff. I want to help everybody, but if there's no interest, there's no point in me keep taking my time and stuff like that to, to do this. You know, I work all day. I'm a normal person. So, like, drop a comment on what you want to see, and share it. Please share it. Subscribe to the channel. Smash that button. And until next time, thank you.